So let me show you something cool about double integrals. In this setup, I'm integrating the product of two functions of one variable each. And I'm integrating over a rectangle. So A, B, C, and D are constants. It'll be a rectangle or a filled rectangle. How can we simplify this integral? Well, the standard technique is to, OK, cover up the outside integrals and integrate what's in there with respect to x, imagining y is a constant. And then you get some function of y, and you integrate, move on to the outside integral. But there's a faster way of doing it. Now, in this, set, in, in this context, think back to the inside integral. Now, if g of y is a constant, essentially, because we, we're assuming y is a constant, I can bring it out the front, right? OK, so what I've done there, I've gone, all right, for the inside integral, y is a constant. So g of y is a constant. And I know with integrals, I can bring constants, multiplying constant out the front. OK? Now look at this boxed integral. That's going to be a constant when I evaluate it. So, so inside, for the, for the final integral, I'm imagining, well, this is just a constant. And I'm integrating with respect to y. So this can come out the front. Now, the point is that this may be easy to evaluate. This may be easy to evaluate on their own. You can do two integrations in the one step. OK, but it won't always work. You need to be careful when you're applying these ideas because this will work for a special format where you've got a function of one variable times a function of another variable and only constants in the integration signs. If there were x's or y's in here, then the method would not necessarily work.